This is In the Spotlight. It's about people on this planet that has captured the attention of vloggers like me. Listen and learn more about your concerns on In the Spotlight. A Philadelphia man sentenced to life in prison in 2009 for killing his friend is free this morning. Dante Patterson was exonerated yesterday after an extraordinary court motion from Philadelphia's district attorney. He asserted Patterson's conviction was, quote, an egregious example of police and prosecutorial misconduct. Michelle Miller spoke with the 29-year-old who always insisted he was innocent. Michelle, good morning. Good morning. He did indeed. Well, the case is stirring up controversy between Philadelphia's new DA and the former prosecutor who secured Patterson's conviction. Patterson had been on house arrest since March after his conviction was vacated. And today, he's a free man. Crack that smile, man. I know, man. It's so, so good. You freak, man. Dante Patterson ran into a childhood friend as he was about to have the monitoring device on his ankle removed. Did you feel like you were still behind bars? Right. Definitely. One of the first things he did, pick up his 11-year-old daughter at her bus stop. You've seen her grow up without being with her. What kind of pain did that bring to you? A lot. Why is days I cry. A judge dropped all charges against Patterson at the request of newly installed district attorney Larry Krasner. We were able to show the prosecutor in this matter there was a lot of evidence that they had not considered or seen. Patterson was arrested in 2007 for the murder of his friend Antoine Jackson. His first trial in 2008 ended in a hung jury. He was convicted at a retrial in 2009. The DA's office claimed this week that although Patterson was tried twice, neither jury heard the truth, adding the prosecution and police did not turn over strong evidence in their possession that identified the likely perpetrator. The motion says another unnamed suspect was killed just a few months after Jackson's murder. I think Antoine Jackson's killer was released today. Retired prosecutor Richard Sachs handled Patterson's second trial. I resent that they said I withheld evidence because I did not and never have and, and never been uh, shown to or, or established by any court that I have. So that's nonsense. Marissa Bluestein is the executive director of the Pennsylvania Innocence Project, which has been working on Patterson's case for the last four years. That prosecutor has always seen this case through the lens of Dante Patterson's guilty. And he is caught up in that narrative, and that narrative is very tight to him. You can't get these 11 years back. How do you move on? Take it day by day, step by step. You know, just got to stay strong. This is the latest case in Pennsylvania where someone who spent years behind bars was cleared. Rapper Meek Mill was freed just last month. DA Harry Krasner has campaigned and campaigned as a reformer who described the city's district attorney's office as hell-bent on winning cases at any cost. Now, in this country, last year, 139 people were exonerated, 171 the year before that. Mm. That's on average about three every week. Mm. So this really gives weight to people who say mm. the system is broken and something needs to be done. And the impact it has on so many family members too. You see it right there. Yeah. You know, you think about the innocence projects, those people who dedicate their lives to these cases. Were they not there, this wouldn't have happened. Yeah. yeah. You have all kinds of innocence projects all over this country yeah. with different missions. Some that look at it from the DNA process, others who look at it from the technicality process, as with Aaron Moriarty's piece just earlier this week.